17,852. You know what that is? That's exactly the number of unread emails that I have on my Gmail. Mails from my bank, cab app, subscription, event updates, and so many more. And it also has mails from dating apps. <laughs> Point is, Gmail is my lifeline. Just like it is for you guys as well. I mean, I use it for my work and personal purposes as well. And recently, I discovered that there's so much more to Gmail than just the basics. And I'd love to share this new info with all of you. So, let's take a look. Using multiple accounts. Suppose you have multiple Google accounts for various purposes. In that case, Gmail has a feature that allows you to add multiple Gmail accounts and switch them with ease without having to do the arduous process of signing in every time. Sign in with your main account first and then click on your avatar or avatar and you should see an option called add another account. Simply use this to add your accounts and you can select your accounts freely by clicking your avatar in the top right corner again. Recalling a message using undo. Guys, has this ever happened to you that you've sent an email and then regretted it the very next instant? Or sent across an email where you've written PFA but the A wasn't there. That's right, no attachment. Well, let me tell you the solution is here now. You can simply undo the message and get it back. So if you want to reword a message or perhaps you've sent it to the wrong person, Gmail now gives the users a short period to recall a sent email. To use this feature, you must activate it first. You can easily do this by going to settings and enabling the undo send option. You can also set the cancellation time period there using the drop down setting. Smart Compose Not good with your language? Don't worry, Gmail has you covered. Gmail's Smart Compose feature recommends different words and phrases to its users to help them complete their sentences efficiently. This feature simply predicts what the user might want to say next and shows the suggestion as a light grey text in front of the keyboard cursor on the screen. The user simply has to press the tab key to accept the suggestion. You can activate this feature by going to settings and then clicking on the Smart Compose option in the general tab. You just have to click the button to turn the writing suggestions on. If you want to personalize the suggestions, you can also turn on Smart Compose personalization. Scheduled emails Not everyone has enough time to reply to emails 24 hours a day. The email scheduling feature in Gmail helps to fix this inconvenience as it allows the user to compose their emails in advance. Guys, now we can do by simply writing our message and before sending it, we just need to click on the little arrow next to the send button. This will then show a menu that will allow us to pick a time and date on which we want the message to be sent. Okay guys, here's a pro tip. Schedule your client emails late into the night. They'll think you're such a hard working person, but in reality, you're just a smart worker who knows their tools. Labels and filters. Gmail allows its users to organize their inbox by tagging emails using labels. This can help them manage and categorize their emails. Tags to an email and you will find that email under both labels. You can create a label in the left sidebar by scrolling down and clicking on Create New Label. This will allow you to set a name for your label. You can also create sub-labels or nest existing labels under another label in your inbox. You can do this on the Gmail app for smartphones as well. Confidential emails Guys, sometimes your email may contain sensitive information that you don't want to get into the wrong hands. This is where Gmail's confidential mode comes in and it is extremely helpful. It allows you to prevent your recipients from forwarding, copying, printing or even downloading your email. To send a confidential email, firstly compose an email like you usually would. At the bottom of the screen, you should see a lock icon to set an expiration date for the email. This means both the email and any attachments in that email will be deleted at the time of expiration. You then grant access to the email through a code sent to your recipient through an email or a scheduled text message on their phone. This feature is specifically helpful if you're sending your bank details or other confidential information over an email. And that was the video guys. The next time you're sending out an email from Gmail, take a minute to try the features that I just mentioned in this video. I assure you, your life is gonna get so much easier and you're gonna thank me big time. Which feature did you like the most? Do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such content. What I'm gonna do now is read some of my unread 17,000 emails.